Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create a binary search tree project in C++. So in this tutorial, I'm going to create a function that is capable of removing the root node from our tree. So I'm going to go ahead and place this function in the private section of our binary search tree class. And this is going to have a void return type. I'm going to name this remove root match and it doesn't need to take any arguments. So there is the prototype for the remove root match function. Let's go ahead and copy this here and we'll go ahead and paste it in our binary search tree.cpp file. Go ahead and paste it there. We're going to make sure our binary search tree.cpp file knows that we are finding this from the binary search tree class. We'll get rid of this semicolon and then we'll just go ahead and start writing the code inside of these curly braces here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if our tree is empty or not. So we'll just go ahead and say if, and then we'll say root is not equal to null. So if it's not equal to null, that means that our tree contains at least one node. We'll go ahead and do some code in there if that's the case. Otherwise, we know that our tree is empty if the root is pointing to null. And if that's the case, we're just going to print a message to the screen that says, can not remove root and we'll just say the tree is empty so if our tree is not empty first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a node pointer and call it del ptr for deletion pointer and we're just going to make this point to the node that we want to delete from the tree and so we're just going to make this point to the root node the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the key from inside the root and so we'll create a variable here and we'll just call this one root key and we'll make it the key inside of our root node. Then we're going to create one more integer variable. This one will also be an int and it will be called smallest in right subtree. So in the case that our root node has two children, we're going to want to find the smallest key in the root node's right subtree. We're going to want to take that key put it back in the root as the roots key, and then delete the node that had the smallest key in the right subtree. So that's what we'll be using the smallest in right subtree variable for. So now what we need to do is we're just going to look at our three different cases. So the first case we're going to look at is case zero. And this is the case where our root node has zero children. So if our root has zero children, we can figure that out by saying if, we'll say root arrow left equals null, and root arrow right also equals null, then that means the only thing in our tree is the root. It does not have a left or a right child. And if that's the case, we're simply just going to make our root pointer point to null. So in this case, the root pointer is now pointing to null, but our del pointer is still pointing to the node that the root pointer used to be pointing to. And so we can go ahead and delete that node by saying delete del ptr. So if our root node has zero children, we simply make the root point to null and we delete the node that used to be the root node. So the next case we're going to look at, we'll go ahead and call this one case one. And this will be the case where our root node has one child. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do else if. So case one will happen if either our left or right pointer is pointing to a node, but the other one is not. So to catch this, we'll have to do two else if statements. The first one is going to be else if root arrow left equals null and root arrow right is not equal to null. So this is saying that our root's left pointer is not pointing to a node, but that its right pointer is pointing to a node. This would be the case where our root pointer has a child attached to its right pointer, but not its left pointer. So if this is the case, we're going to have our root pointer point to our root pointer's right child now. So we'll say root equals root arrow right and so our del pointer is still pointing to the old root so we're just going to disconnect the old root completely from the new root so the next thing i'm going to say is i'm going to say del ptr arrow right equals null so that line of code that i just wrote there is probably not necessary but i like to put it in there because what's happening here 
is I'm just completely disconnecting that old root from the tree. I personally haven't had any problems with leaving that type of code out of my programs, but I have heard of people who have experienced some errors in their programs by not putting this line in. So I'm just gonna be extra safe and go ahead and put this line in so I completely disconnect the old root from the tree. And then once the old root is disconnected from the tree, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the old root by saying delete del ptr. And then let's just go ahead and print a message to the screen that lets us know what's happening here. We'll just say the root node with key, and then we'll go ahead and print out what the key was, and that was stored in the root key variable. And then we'll say was deleted, and then we'll say the new root contains key and then we'll print out what the new key is. And then we'll go ahead and do a new line here. And so that should take care of the case where our root node has a right child, but not a left child. We go ahead and make the new root become the right child. And then we just go ahead and delete the old root. And then we print a message to the screen that lets us know what happened. So the other way that we could run into case one is if our root's left pointer is pointing to a node, but its right pointer is not. So let's go ahead and take care of that case right here we'll just go ahead and copy this one and then we'll modify it a bit so to check for that case what we're going to do is we're just going to say this time we want our left pointer to be pointing to a node but our right pointer is not going to be pointing to a node and if that's the case we're going to make the root pointer point to its left child and then we're going to disconnect the old root completely from the tree we'll go ahead and delete the old root and then we'll go ahead and print to the screen what we did. So let's go ahead and look at case two now. So case two is going to be the case where our root node has two children. So we're going to catch that case by saying else, and then we'll go ahead and use our smallest and right subtree variable. And then we'll go ahead and find the smallest key in our roots right subtree by calling the find smallest private function that we wrote a couple tutorials back. And we're going to pass in a pointer to our root's right child. So that will find the smallest key in the right subtree and it will store it in the smallest and right subtree variable. Then what we're going to do is we're going to call the remove node private function. And we're actually going to delete the smallest node in the right subtree by passing in the value that we want it to delete, which is now stored in the smallest and right subtree variable, and by passing in the root pointer to mark the location that we want our remove node private to start looking for this smallest node. So we're not actually deleting the root node in this case. What we're doing is we're deleting the node that is the smallest in our root's right subtree, and then we're going to take the value that was in that node, and we're going to overwrite the root node with the smallest value that was in our root node's right subtree. And so we're going to do that by saying root key equals smallest in right subtree. So now the properties of the binary search tree are all still intact by doing this. We have removed the smallest node in the right subtree. We have taken that value and we have placed that value inside of the roots key now. So now that is the roots key. And by doing this, we are preserving the less than greater than properties of our binary search tree. So the last thing I wanna do is I'm just going to do a C out statement here to let us know what's happened. And then we'll say the root key containing key and then we'll just go ahead and print out what key it had in it and that was stored in the root key variable and we'll say it was overwritten with key and then we'll print the new key value to the screen by saying root arrow key and then we'll print a new line and so that should take care of deleting the root node from the tree so let's just go ahead and Take away some of this extra white space here and i'll go ahead and go over this one more time so if our tree is not empty then we're going to go ahead and remove the root node on the other hand if our tree is empty we're just simply going to print a message to the screen that says cannot remove root the tree is empty and so if our tree is not empty we're going to create a deletion pointer we're going to store the current root keys value in the root key variable we're going to create a variable called smallest and right subtree in case we run into the situation where our root has two children. The first case we're looking at is the case where our root has zero children. If that's the case, 
we're simply just going to make our root pointer point to null, and then we're just simply going to delete the old root. The next case would be the case where our root node has one child. That will happen if the root's left pointer is pointing to null and its right pointer is pointing to the node. And if that's the case, we're going to make the root point to the root's right node. That will become the new root. The deletion pointer is going to disconnect the old root from the tree, and then it will delete the old root. Then we'll go ahead and print out to the screen what has happened. And we're going to do a similar thing if the root's left pointer is pointing to a node, but its right pointer is not. We're simply going to make the root point to the root's left child. We're going to disconnect the old root from the tree. We're going to delete the old root, and then we'll print a message to the screen letting us know what happened. The last case is the case where our root has two children. If this is the case, we're going to find the smallest value in our root's right subtree by calling the find smallest private function and passing in our root node's right pointer. So then we will have the smallest key value in the right subtree in this variable here. Then we go ahead and call the remove node private function, and we go ahead and remove that node from the tree. We're going to start looking, starting at the root. So after this function executes, we will have removed the smallest node in the right subtree. Once that happens, we overwrite the roots key with the value that was contained in the node containing the smallest key that was contained in our roots right subtree. Then we're going to print a message to the screen letting us know what happened. And so that sums up the remove root match function. So in the next tutorial, I will go ahead and start coding the remove match function. And this will be called when we want to remove a node from a tree that is not the root node. So stay tuned for that tutorial. We'll see you guys next time. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.